In Olanton, Michigan, population 738, American flags fly high. A sea of red, white, and blue blankets this one street town. True Americana quietly tucked away in northwest Michigan. Well, that's just the, the niche of this community. I mean, we're a tight-knit community and uh, very patriotic, you know. I mean, God and country. And that's the way it's always been, a culture of patriots with roots going back to the Civil War era. It goes back. I mean, uh, so many of the founding families here were here because of getting property after the Civil War. So many of them were veterans that came here after the Civil War and the government was trying to populate the area. More than a century later, America is fighting a different battle, a war overseas, pulling men and women away from home and putting strain on small communities like Alanson. The graduating class of 2009 from Alanson, we had 12 graduates. Um, I believe it was a, a six to six male to female ratio and out of the six males, we had three um, enlist in the military. Nick Robbins enlisted at age 17. He is currently home on leave. Nick says his decision to join the military was an easy one to make. Just a sense to serve, um, just to uh, do something for the country. You know, I've, I've had these freedoms for 20 years and um, I haven't really, you know, given back much. Right now there are three Alanson soldiers at Camp Shelby, Mississippi, getting ready to deploy to Afghanistan. One of them, 33-year-old Sergeant Dana Stafford son of Mo Houseworth. This will be his third tour. His first tour was a peacekeeping mission in the Sinai Peninsula. His second tour was uh, FOB in Southeast Baghdad. And uh, he spent a year there, and now he's headed out. Mo's childhood friend in a Lance and Fire Chief, Jim Cantrell, has a similar story. His son, Jeremy, is also awaiting deployment. The biggest thing is this, you know, not knowing know what's going on and we don't hear from as much as we used to. You know, we used to get a phone call or see him once a week or someone he was working down the grave. But you know, now it's kind of far and few in between. That feeling of sacrifice is also felt in the classrooms of Alanson Public School. Donna McGill is a teacher there. Her son Todd will soon be fighting for our freedom. I miss seeing him every day. I miss having him, you know, give me hugs, say I love you, Mama. With a, with a community this small as Atlanta, um, to have three service members from this area being deployed here soon, it affects a lot of our community, not just the immediate families, but the spread out families, because there's a lot of people who are related here in Atlanta. All three soldiers are scheduled to deploy to Afghanistan in January. In the meantime, life goes on in their house and hometown as these sons of Atlantis put their lives on the line, embodying the spirit and legacy of their community, putting country first and making friends and family proud. Well, I couldn't be prouder of him than if he was president of the United States of America. And, and the whole community is proud of all of the guys that's doing this. So. We have gotten a lot of support for our veterans from the community. So uh, it's, it's, it's a community that pulls together when everybody needs us.